what's up guys welcome back to another video so pretty much today we're going to be doing some work with the porsche boxster we're going to be replacing the rotors we're going to be replacing the brake pads and also we're going to be adding a 20 millimeter wheel spacers in the front so we can have a better wheel fitment and of course a better look so here's my 1999 porsche boxster this is actually a 2.5 non-ass i would like to get the s maybe later on uh, but this thing rides really good. Like I said on the previous video, we have to do, you know, like general maintenance, you know, like the wheel stuff, suspension, brake pads, and you guys know. Um, so this is gonna be my first modern upgrade. I already did the driver's side. Look at how good it looks. Slotted rotors, right? This rotor, they're actually from Power Stop. They look pretty good. In the budget, you know, got on Amazon for like 120 a pair, so ain't that bad right and also we're gonna be adding spacer like i say this is i've already done on the driver's side and look at the wheel fitment it looks actually pretty good i'm gonna so let's take a look the passenger side look at the fitment difference it's so much right and these are 205 50 17 i'm trying to you know replace new tires as well i probably run 215 40 17 on the front right a little slightly wider so we could just have a you know complete fitment over here on the wheel and the tires but this this actually looks really good so we got some parts over here so we got some uh, cable nose all right, we got this from spp.com. We got some wheel spacer. These are available on eBay. They're like probably like sixty dollars a pair or something. We got our power stop rotors. This is the. I'm not really sure is this the OEM one, but here we go. This still pretty good. You know, don't need to be replaced. But I wanted to replace it so we could have a better look, you know. So look at the difference. Uh, same size. You know, nothing bigger, nothing thicker. Look at this one. Look at this one. Big difference. You know, so we have our impact gun over here. We have our digital torque wrench. We got some orange thread locker. And of course, we need a 10 millimeter hex. This is actually for the calipers to come out, you know, so you can remove your rotors. So first, we have to jack up the car. Now, Porsches, we do actually have a jacking point, which is this little square over there. You know, that's where you're gonna place your jack, all right? Don't put on the front arrows because you're gonna screw all that up. So you're gonna place your jack in there and then uh, bring the car up. All right, so the front of the car is already lift up. You can choose and put a jack stand in there, but since this is gonna be a quick job, I'm not gonna even bother. So now you're gonna remove your wheel. All right, so once the wheels is out, you can pretty much here see the rotor, calipers, brake pads, and the pins. Uh, now we're gonna start by removing actually this little clip over here. This clip actually holds the pin in place, which is holding these brackets, right, for the sensors and the brake pads. So once you take this out, you should be able to take the brake pads out as well, so. Now to take out the brake pads, it is actually very easy. You just gotta remove this little pins over here whoop that came out easy is this <laughs> that was quick so it's pretty much this clip over here that's hold the pins in place now put it on the side now once you release this pin just like that so once you release this pin you should be able to release this bracket this bracket is actually holding you know the sensor wiring and also the brake pads 
All right, so the pin and the bracket is out. Now we should be able to use the vice grip, all right? Just to compress those pistons back into the position and we should be able to release the brake pads. All right, so the brake pads are out. Now we should be able to release the sensor, all right? Which is this one over here. And also this one on the other side, which is here. Just use the clip and I'll ping it out and you should be good. All right, so the brake pads are out. These are actually still pretty good. All right, look at the amount of wear left. These are actually pretty brand new though. I think they just put them on, you know, just to sell the car, but anyhow, uh, it's time to release the caliber now. All right, to take out the caliber is actually very easy. All you need is this 10 millimeter hex, right? You got two bolts, one and two. Once you take those two bolts out, you should be able to, you know, move the caliper on the side and then you should be able to take your rotors out and then it's time to remove the bolts that is actually securing the rotors uh, on the other side when I did it it came with Phillips screws uh, but I guess they put an aftermarket bolt in there or something so this is actually a T40 uh, torque spit like those little star bits so we're just gonna unbolt this you know, and then we should be able to pull those rotors out and then uh, do the swap. All right, so the two bolts that were bolted into the hub, you know, that was holding the rotor in place, they're already out. Just put them on the side, don't lose them because you're gonna need them again. Um, now we could use the number 10 hex. I could just, you know, take out the calipers. So pretty much here, the two bolts are out. All right, there's two. Just put them on the side because you're gonna need them again. Uh, from here, you just tilt this caliper slightly sideways and you should be able to take this rotor out as it is. Boom. And then we should be able to put the new ones back in. But before we do that, you know, I would highly recommend you could add some uh, lubricant in here, like a grease or something, you know, just to prevent, you know, the rotor sticking out into the hub, you know, for future uh, maintenance. You know, so that'd be a lot easier. All right, so we got some high temp grease in here. You could just, you know, fill this up. You don't have to OD on it. And right here. Uh, my finger's full of grease now. All right. Full of grease. Should be fine. It's just to prevent, you know, the rotor sticking out into the rust next time when you do the maintenance. I don't know. Probably have the car sold already by then, but yeah, I guess for next owner. <laughs> all right, so the brand new rotors are in. You just gotta make sure that the rotors sit all the way flush against the hub. Okay, make sure that everything is good. So pretty much now we should be able to put the caliper back on, but before I do that, I wanna use some brake cleaner just to clean the surface of the rotor. All right, so everything seems pretty clean now. Now what I wanted to do is, I'm gonna add some orange thread locker into this bolt, right? This one actually have the string of the red one and then in combination of the blue one, so you could just loosen up like really easy. You know, you don't have to kill yourself to take this out for next service, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so the two long caliper bolts are in now. We're gonna do the last step is we're gonna actually torque this down. Uh, the service manual calls 63 foot pound of torque. So that's what we're gonna do. So that's pretty much it. Now we should be able to use a brake cleaner and clean all that junk that is inside the caliper. And then after that, we should be able to put the brake pad back in. So everything seems pretty clean now. Look at all that junk. So filthy. Anyways, so brake pad times. So what we're doing in here is we're gonna actually add some uh, grease in here. This is the loop that it came with the package. We're not gonna use that. It's a little too thick. I don't like it. We're gonna use some high temp grease. 
just to fill it up, you know, just to prevent your brake pad to stick with the pistons when it's really hot, you know. You should be able to, you should be good enough. Like so, just fill it up. This one as well. You don't have to be oldie on it, so just be gentle. You'll be fine. There you go. Everything is good. Now, uh, should be able to put those pads in. This is it. Nice and simple. One. And here's the second one. And two. And then after that, you should be able to put all the hardware back in, you know, like the sensor, the clips, and the pin, right? Like so. So pretty much everything is back into where it was. I mean, it's not really that hard. You're just going to reverse the process, you know? Just everything is just plug and play these days, so, you know? Uh, from here, we should be able to put the wheels back in and then uh, give the final look. All right, so here's the final product. Look at that. Damn, it looks so good. What a difference. Look at the fitment on the wheels as well. Nice and flush. I just gotta get slightly bigger tires and I'll be set. Nice. Wow. I'm not gonna lie though. This wheel all cleaned up looks really good. Next video, I should be able to do the rear. I already ordered the rear. Um, I have them, but I had to send them back because they didn't fit like how it should, you know, on the hub. So I sent them back, all the new ones. Uh, they should be here by tomorrow or Monday, hopefully. So that's pretty much for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, follow, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.